We just want you to be little forever. We oh, have baby too. <laughs> Uh, is there a birthday boy in the house anywhere? I said, is there a birthday boy in the house anywhere? Anyone who uh, is a teenager by chance? Oh, don't say that. <gasps> Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday, birthday to you. <laughs> Happy birthday, dear Turbo. I'm the big tweener. You're not a 20, you're 13. Happy birthday to you. If it's nice, do it, Tyson. Then go get a pack of ice. Eat more chicken. chicken. Thank you, guys. Get over here, birthday boy. Give your mama a hug. I cannot believe that you are 13. Oh my goodness. So, Turbo Bingham, for your Birthday breakfast, we have repaired. Bobby Flay eggs, Bobby Flay, if you're watching yes, this. Yes, that's what thank he you for wanted. That's what I wanted. White toast. <laughs> Literally, by request, we've got toast with Grandma Sycamore's white bread. So guys, we need to emphasize the fact that he asked for white bread toast. Yeah. It's, it's not you know your basis. kids eat healthy when they ask for white bread toast on their birthday. Apparently we don't get that on a regular basis around here. We you got, know more, but you We do, yeah, a little better. Okay, Traeger bacon with brown sugar on it. And a little yeah. bit of just regular cane sugar there. Just a little bit of. And then Bobby Flay eggs, all by request of turn. Oh, and for the drink, chocolate milk. Not just any chocolate milk, true milk chocolate milk. <laughs> oh, and some orange juice. This 13 year old knows what he wants. So we let the entire group sleep in because we got home a little late last night and we knew that Turn obviously for his birthday was one to sleep in. And the one thing he did ask for his birthday is that he could skip school. Bueller. Bueller. Which we are totally gonna allow. So we are up a little bit later today, whole family, all dressed, ready to go, but we're trying to spend as much time as possible as we can with this kid because, as many of you guys know nice. from past videos, he's leaving us today to go to a soccer tournament and it's in Arizona. So he leaves at five o'clock, so we're going to soak up the day hanging out with this kid right here until five o'clock. <laughs> you will see one of the items that you requested for your birthday at the table. This is perfect because I can bring it to Arizona. I know, I was thinking it was perfect yes, timing. This is all I wanted too. Okay, and I have to show you these napkins. Do you remember these? Yes. <laughs> okay, if anyone's making the connection here, this is Turbo Napkins from the Turbo Movie. Turbo Okay, when the movie came out, all of Turin's friends were freaking out about how the movie was about him. It was so long ago, like, I was probably like seven, maybe eight. Yeah, you. I think you might have even been younger than that. So these napkins are from a turbo-themed birthday party that we did when he was super Turbo. little. It was so cute because all of his friends were so excited that the movie was named after Turin. Let's just say Turbo. I, I had some good birthday parties when I was little. Oh, thanks, sir. Yep, those days are over, bud. <laughs> Not true. We will be celebrating you until you die. Turn's nickname Turbo actually goes way back to when he was tiny, tiny. Papa Doug started it, and it has just stuck. Come on, make me sound old. Way back. <laughs> <laughs> his friends have been calling him that, his teammates. I almost think people call you Turbo more than they call you Turin. No, some, no most people call so. me Turin, but there's one person who's never called me Turin. Who? One person, it's Caleb. Really? Yeah, he's he's always called you Turbo? That's awesome. So, as you guys can see, every single plate's, you know, very, very unique and the same. <laughs> and Miss Ava decided she wanted to move her plate right there in her cup because they're different from these over here, <laughs> from there to here, because she wanted to sit by the birthday boy. Aww. <laughs> All right, you guys, great start to Turin's birthday. Can I just say how much I love him? <laughs> really, though. He's a pretty amazing kid, and I am one 
proud mom over here. Now we are taking a little detour to a place that we wouldn't typically go on his birthday. But if you've missed the last couple of videos, Turin took a ball to the head the other night at soccer practice. Pretty scary situation. I'm gonna let him tell you the story, but we are headed to a sports medicine doctor to make sure that he is okay, make sure that he's cleared to play soccer. This is a new thing for us and it's just something you don't wanna mess with. So that's where we're headed right now. But I'm gonna let Turin tell you exactly what happened that night. All right, so we were playing versus an 06 team. So they're a lot older than us. So they were crossing. So Turin's 08, so oh, two eight. years older. Two years older, yeah. So the other, they, the other team was crossing the ball hard down on the floor and I'm defending the kid who's about to shoot the ball. So there was already like force coming towards him and he hit the shot one touch and it went so fast I couldn't even see it in my head. Nailed him in the face. Knocked him to the ground. Mm. We're pretty sure that he was knocked out, that he was that he blacked out because yeah. what we're hearing from his teammates is what he'll tell you next, but he doesn't remember anything from the ball coming towards him to everyone was sitting saying that on the just bench. Like fell straight down and then for like a couple seconds they kept playing and then everyone was like stop stop because everyone thought no he's knocked out. My coach came over and dumped a bucket of ice water on my head to wake me up. And then he helped me over to the bench and I don't really remember ever anything in between. So pretty scary. Turin doesn't remember anything from the point, point A to point B. <laughs> point A to point B when the ball was coming towards him to when he was sitting on the bench. These are the kinds of things that are mother's nightmares. Not my favorite part about sports. We're gonna go get him checked out. Here we go. We are here and we are actually having total flashbacks. His turn, where are we right now? This is where I think we got my arm kicked out right before we went to Disneyland. This exact same office. The like exact the day before we went to Disneyland. Yes. And the exact same doctor. It's kind of funny. So we're here. He's feeling a ton better today. So we're feeling pretty confident that he's gonna be good to go, but safety first, right, Tur? Oh yeah. <laughs> Confusion, I would say it's still like maybe a one at the most. But yesterday you felt worse than today. Yesterday for sure. Yeah. In the morning. So I describe felt. how you felt yesterday. My headache was probably like two yesterday. Okay. So like, still some headache, did the dizziness go away or did you still notice you that? You were dizzy yesterday. I was dizzy yesterday, but not a ton. Okay, just depending on what you're doing. When I was dropping it hurt more. Yeah, okay, but you said school didn't really change it. Mm -hmm. Well, I was just doing school at home. I was doing like, like three assignments and then she told me not to do school. Got it, okay. But I did them fine. And then shrug up your shoulders. Don't let me push your shoulders down. Good, and relax, good. Go ahead and look down toward the ground and then up toward the ceiling. And look over one shoulder. Yeah, and the other way. Good. Does any of that bug you at all? Mm -hmm. Okay. Just gonna take a peek where you got hit here. And the bottom. Uh, the whole, yeah. My whole head. And so your cheek and everything was really swollen. And I it got like, I think I got like a bunch of sores inside my mouth. Yeah. Like and pushing here, does that bother you at all? All right. We're gonna do a couple other things with your eyeballs. So I'm gonna keep my fingers here. I want you to keep your face still and then just look back and forth between my fingers. Okay as fast as you feel like you can. It's weird. <laughs> it's weird. Here's the bigger movements. There you go. Good. Okay, open up first. Get your balance on the leg and then close them. All right, you guys, I have an update from what we learned at the sports medicine doctor this morning. To be honest with you, there is a reason why Turin is not on the camera right now. He is pretty upset. So Turin went in there, he described exactly what happened the night where he blacked out, gave her all the details on how he felt that night, how he felt yesterday, and how he feels today, which I will tell you, today he is feeling very good. So he described all of those things and she confirmed that he 100% had a concussion, which obviously is not anything that he wanted to hear or I wanted to hear. Concussions are so scary. She did assure us that having one concussion and recovering from it will not harm him long term. What is scary is having multiple concussions, repeated concussions, or having concussions very close together. So because of that, he is not allowed to play in his tournament in Arizona this weekend. He is so upset right now. She explained that if you go back too soon, then it can prolong the symptoms, but the biggest thing is that if he were to put himself in a situation where he could get a second concussion or get hit in, hit in the head a second time, that can be something much more serious. 
and not worth taking the risk. Turin was very excited to play in his tournament this weekend. They are playing some teams that are very highly ranked and they were very excited to play these teams because it will help their team become higher ranked. He has put his whole heart and soul into soccer. He loves it so much. He practices four days a week. He usually has two games a week. Soccer is his life. And when he found out he couldn't play this weekend, he was so upset. So she's having him do this protocol where day one, he just jogs on a treadmill. Day two, he runs. Day three, he does his training with the soccer team, but no contact. Day four, he does a full practice. Day five, he can play in a game. So he slowly builds up. And as long as he doesn't feel any of those symptoms as he does those types of exercises, then he's cleared to play. But if he is feeling those symptoms as he's doing those things, he has to continue to do day three over and over and over again, and then day four over and over again until he's feeling good. She said that in professional sports, there are professional athletes that are taken out of the Super Bowl because of a concussion. So there are very strict rules about it because the brain is just something you don't mess around with. But as a mom, my heart was just breaking. I knew it was the right thing to do to keep him out, but it's just so hard. It's Turin's birthday today, and it just broke my heart to see him be so sad so as I came out to the waiting room I just put my arm around him and I just lost it I started crying and I just told him how sorry I was I just felt so sad that he was so sad so we're home now he's already doing a little bit better we are now trying to figure out exactly what to do he still wants to go to the tournament and be with his soccer team and support his team and I can understand why he just still wants to feel a part of it and he was so excited to go on this trip. The original plan before Landon's surgery kind of came up out of nowhere was for the whole family to go down to Arizona together. My parents live there. We were gonna celebrate Turin's birthday while we were down there and Landon, ended up needing surgery last week and he is still recovering, still having a hard time standing up and sitting down and getting in and out of cars. But also on top of that, the tournament in Arizona let us know that they are allowing no spectators at the games. So even if we had traveled all the way down there, we would not even have been able to watch his games. So it all just kind of turned out the way that it was that he was gonna go down with a teammate. His family is good friends of ours. And honestly, he was so excited. So I'm hopeful that he can still have an awesome weekend just being with his buddies and I'm working on putting together a few little things for his birthday while he's down there. But today, our family is going to spend every minute that we can with him celebrating him because we're gonna be so sad to see him go. But for anybody that knows me, it's going to be a birth month around here and there are going to be so many more celebrations to come when he gets home. All right, you guys, we are taking a little turnout for a little birthday date here before he takes off. So a little update here. As you guys heard, he does have a concussion, therefore he is not able to play, but he still wants to go to Arizona to support his team, which we support him doing. Because all he wants for his birthday. That's all he wants for his birthday. <laughs> and honestly, he works so hard. He's at practice four times a week, sometimes about 10.30 at night. It's a really important tournament. And while he can't play, he can at least go and show his support. So before we send him off for a few days, which is really hard for us to do if I'm being honest. It's really hard. We just want to be with him. Like, I don't want to send him off at all. We're just going to maybe do a little bit of shopping, have a little lunch, and then, you know, send him off. We're just kind of chilling because he can't really do anything super physical right now, considering the fact that he's supposed to take it easy. So we're going to save that for next week when he gets back and he's able to do more. Does this kid look like a kid that has a concussion though? No, it's not. I mean, he's just dancing around, having a good old time. I think that's probably in indicative of how tough he is. But guys, brain injuries are very, very serious. We take them very serious as a household, as you can probably imagine. Right? So something that we definitely do not take lightly. So he is unequivocally not playing in this tournament. The doctor says that he has one week of no activity and then we'll kind of reassess from there. Very grateful for a doctor who is giving a good assessment. Can we do something about turning the teenager? This kid is 13. Teenager. Turn really wants to grow, which makes me sad, but he just loves life. He loves experiencing new things and he loves just getting older and just enjoying life, which is amazing, but it makes us sad. We just want you to be little forever. We need a baby too. <laughs> Gosh. This should come with like a medicine where you like keeps you little forever. Oh, say. yep, I'd make all my kids take I know aging medicine. So if I can pay just a quick tribute to my son Turn right now on camera, 
for him and for all of you. We could not have asked for a better son to be the leader of our family. It's not here to make me cry. The firstborn, I'm serious, the firstborn into this family. And we know as parents, the firstborn's sometimes the experiment, a little bit of the guinea pig. <laughs> we probably have made some mistakes, but we think we've done some good things right, I think, too. But seriously, Tara, I love him, man. Oh, he's a good boy. You're a great kid. He's a good kid, you guys. I'm sure you've all noticed that. In fact, maybe comment about how good of a kid he is. But we could have asked for a better son to be at the head of our child family. I don't know what the right term is here. <laughs> child family. Child family. We're so proud of him in every way and so grateful that we get to be his parents. He's a phenomenal older brother. Again, I think that he came to Earth ready to, to handle this family situation and we're very grateful for that. Thanks. All right, we're doing some presents today and some presents when he gets home. So he just opened his card. We gave him some spending money. They're going to be stopping at the outlet on their way down to Arizona. So he'll have a little bit of money in case he finds some things at the Nike outlet or Hurley or anything fun down there. I also told him he needs to buy socks because all of his have holes in them. That doesn't count for his birthday present. But the other gift that he opened today is that he wanted to order some cleats from Nike.com where you can customize them. So we've got to show you what we're working on over here. This I knew these are different, but same thing. This was kind of the idea. He wanted to go with the LaRocca colors, which are black, red, and white, right? Yeah. So I switched it up and did that. So we did the black Nike logo with a little bit of a gold back right there. And then red bottom with some black studs. And then red, red ankle sock with some red shoelaces. But he went with the white background instead of the black. Yeah, white background, yeah. Because <clears throat> it looked a little bit more LaRocca. Because he's either wearing white and white or red and black, right? Yeah. Kind of cool that he can customize his very own cleat. Pick every detail out. Got some cleats that only Turbo could be wearing. Coming our way. The only downside is when you mid customize your own cleats, it takes a little while for them to come. So they're coming mid-March, but he plays soccer year-round, multiple times a week, so he'll have plenty of time to wear them. The time has come to depart with our dear child. I can't even talk about it. Don't even talk about it. <laughs> it's like we're shipping it off to college. He's literally going away for three days. <laughs> but it feels like he's going to college. I'm going to just cry my eyes out tonight, Turin. On your birthday, I'm going to just cry because I'm not with you. You blink and he's all grown up. You blink and I'll be in college. What was that? Hmm? No, I'm just... Walking, working. I, no, I, didn't, I didn't say anything. You should just. Okay. No. All right. Well, in true mom fashion, however, you can't depart any type of special event without a picture. Photo shoot. That's Turn's favorite. He loves pictures. Oh, I love you, mom. All right, you guys, Turin has safely made it to his destination for the night. We had so much fun hanging out with Turin today. As you know, the morning started off a little rough, but I was so proud of him because he, he was so bummed this morning and he just decided to make the most of it. He headed down with his teammates to support the team this weekend, even though he can't play. He is so excited to be going on this trip. He's so excited to be with his team and to cheer them on as they play in this tournament this weekend. But we had such a great day with Turin today. He is just such a good boy and we love him so much. So much more birthday celebrations to come. So make sure you stay tuned for that. We are also planning on doing a birthday live for Turin when he gets back in town. So be watching for that. Make sure you smash the like button for Turin turning 13 and becoming a teenager today. Show him some birthday love down in the comments. Thanks for hanging out with us today and we'll see you guys tomorrow.